Let's begin by looking at the VI we created in Lesson 4. You may have noticed when running this VI that when you touch the wire to the digital input, the program scrolled through the different filters very quickly, so quickly that it was probably difficult to advance only one state at a time. With just a little more logic, we can improve this code so that it will only advance one state when we provide the digital signal. Let's think about the change we want to make. We only want to change states when our digital signal is present. But once we've changed states, we don't want to do so again unless we re-trigger our digital signal. To do this, we'll need to know if our input has changed since the last iteration of our loop. We can do this with another shift register. Right-click on the right side of the while loop, below our state shift register, and select Add Shift Register. Wire the output from the OR Array Elements function to this shift register. Initialize the new shift register with a false Boolean constant. Find a not equal function in the comparison subpalette or by using the quick drop menu and place the function on our block diagram. Connect the Boolean shift register to one input and the output of our OR Array Elements block to the other input. Delete the wire branch that connects the OR Array Elements function to the KSelect terminal. Now wire the output of the not equal function to the case select terminal. Finally, create an indicator on the wire connecting the not equal function to the case select terminal. Call this indicator di changed. When our code runs, the not equal function will compare our digital DAC input with what it was on the last iteration of the while loop. If they are not the same, then the select function inside the case will pass the value of the next state into the shift register. Switch to the front panel and click the run arrow to execute your code. Make a connection to one of the digital inputs and hold the wire there. Notice that the program has only advanced one state. When you disconnect the wire though, you'll notice the program has advanced another state. This is actually the expected behavior as the state of the digital inputs has changed. Let's eliminate this behavior with one more small change to our code. Stop the code and switch back to the block diagram. Right click on the wire between the not equal function and the case select terminal. Select insert. Choose the and function from the boolean palette. Connect the open input of the and function to the output of the or array elements function. Now our select function inside the case structure will only pass the next state value when our digital inputs have changed since the last loop iteration and one of the signals is high. Removing the wire from the input will now be ignored and will not advance the code to the next state. Switch back to the front panel and click the run arrow to test this. In this lesson, we improved the code from lesson four. We created a latch to only change filters when a digital input transitions from low to high. 